It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from More Beer Company and this is a can of their Hefeweizen Weiss Beer. 5.1% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. I am super, super excited to try this beer. I really am. I haven't had many vice beers from UK brewers. I've had, I had a can, I think it was Guyper, North Wales. It was a North Wales brewery that brewed a Hefeweizen, which was really good brewery, Guyper, North Wales. But other than that, I think this might only be my, some Ostel did a cloudy yellow. That was a vice beer as well. So this might be my only ever like third vice beer from a UK brewer. And I'm super excited because I'm a big fan of more beer company. Let's get this out into a glass and see what we get. <clears throat> of course, got a vice beer glass. Very important if you buy this beer, see if you can find, if you haven't got a vice beer glass, see if you can find something tall, like a taller, chimney type glass it benefits vice beer so much i know it might sound silly me asking you to go and get a big tall glass for your vice beer but it makes such a difference i promise you so what you do you're pouring out your beer you're getting down to your last inch maybe two inches and then you're going to roll that round in the can really quite rigorously and then you're going to dump it in and bang there you go just like all of the greatest vice beers in the world you're going to be left or well, that last inch of beer is full of sediment and yeast and it's got to make its way into your glass. I know you might read on some bottles if it's bottle conditioned beer to leave the last inch in the bottle and throw it away but for vice beer it's the opposite. All of that wonderful bananary, estery, spicy taste that's in the beer is locked into that or mostly, mostly locked into that last inch of beer so it's very important you Swirl that round and you dump it in your glass. <clears throat> One finger, white head, uh, good levels of slow moving carbonation, rolling up the side of the glass, lovely and hazy. I'd say between straw and amber in colour. It looks like a classic German vice beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, spicy, bananary. A little bit of clove, coriander, maybe. We'll get into it in a moment. Uh, my love of vice beer, we will get into that in a moment. Uh, First of all, it's smelling delicious. Let's, uh, let's dive into this beer. Cheers, everybody. It's very good. Stone the Crows, it's very good, it's very good. Malty, biscuity, bananary, clove like. Very drinkable. Super smooth. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. You're greeted with a little bit of sweetness to begin with. And then this just wonderful, wonderful bananary, clovey, slightly bitter finish on the back end. <clears throat> wonderful. Wonderful. So 
I, well, just, just Saturday night, I was down with my brother-in-law in Salisbury, and he lives next door to Aldi. So, first thing I do, as soon as I get down there, pack the car up, walk next door to Aldi, and I literally clear their shelves. Clear their shelves of their vice beer. £1.20 a bottle. Walk around with, with, the, with the bags. Next, He lives next door to Aldi. Put it all in the fridge. Drink one at room temperature. I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine at drinking vice beer at, at, at room temperature. In fact, you get lots of that kind of estuary, more of that kind of estuary flavour coming through. Drinking beer slightly warmer. And then I'll just drink the rest. I, I, I just, just, for a beer style, that when I first drank it, I mentioned St. Austell's Cloudy Yellow. I remember drinking St. Austell's Cloudy Level, Yellow when it first came out 12 years ago, and it was my first ever vice beer. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness me, what's this? I'm picking up banana and... And I couldn't work it out. It was spicy and and, and clovey. And I was like, it, I, I remember the review because I was saying it, it tastes like an Indian takeaway in your glass type of thing. But I didn't, I didn't like vice beer back then. <laughs> I tried it a few times after, and it and it it was a light bulb moment. I just kind of like the more the time went on over the last twelve years. I've loved it more and more and more and wow. To this day now, Vice Beer is my favourite style of beer. So if ever I see a, a little mini keg of Vice Beer, I'll pick it up. If ever I see Vice Beer on offer, I'll pick it up. If I'm ever in home bargains and they've got Francis Canna, Vice Beer on offer, I'll clean the shelves of the stuff. So what I'm trying to say is, I drink a lot of this stuff, a lot of it. So how does this fare then? How does this vice beer fare to some of the great vice beers from around the world? Paul and her, Francis Canna, Francis Canna Royale, which is just fantastic. Why Stefanen? You can pick that up in Sainsbury's, I believe. Terrific beer. Weisterfana Vitas. Now, if you try Weisterfana Vitas, now that is like that is like the cream of the crop. But anyway, how does this fare against some of the, the, the terrific German vice beers? I think this would hold up. I think this would hold up. I think you would struggle. In a blind taste test, you would struggle to know which one was more beer company or which one was Francis Carner. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful pint of beer. Loving the creaminess, the drinkability of it. Carbonation that pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's just wonderful. Look at the way the kind of the head, look at that head retention. Look at the way the beer looks. Fab. Fab. Right. <clears throat> Half of eyes and rice beer. You got the more the original live beer in a can. Um, naturally can condition with live yeast um, so they brought this whole thing to the UK live beer in a can so they put just enough live yeast in the can that it mops up residual sugars and carbonates the beer naturally it's just wonderful and it has to be done like to perfection it really does I'm going to rate it 5.1% ABV, 440 milliliter can. Again, more beer company just know what they're doing. They really know what they're doing. Um, it's just tremendous, tremendous vice beer. 
9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.